everybody, and welcome to the countdown to Reawakening 2008, the seventh annual Reawakening. And I gotta tell you, it is shaping up to be the biggest show of the year. My name is Lukey Bolland, reporting for epwperth.com, and we've had a lot of big announcements over the past few weeks on the countdown to Reawakening. Last week, one of the biggest of all, with David Storm, the EPW champion, who will be defending that belt inside of a 15-foot high steel cage against not one, but two opponents on November 8th. We found out that he isn't 100%. His arm has been injured, but hopefully, fingers crossed, Davis Storm will be in fine form come the big show. This week, Dean also managed to sit down with Davis Storm and have a chat about his thoughts on Reawakening 7, and here's what he had to say. Dean Olsen here, joined by the explosive pro wrestling champion and the Iron Man of Australian wrestling, David Storm. A pleasure to have you here with us. Pleasure to be here, Dean. Okay, now the big question that everyone wants to know is how's your wrist going? We found out a couple of weeks ago that your wrist is in fact broken. How's it travelling at the moment? Everyone found out last week, obviously, that uh, I broke my wrist not long after winning the title at uh, Road to Glory, and um, it's recovering well. Um, the doctors think I should be 100%, probably the week of reawakening. Um, so there's going to be a short span of time where I'm going to be able to basically train to a full extent. But um, I'm trying to keep fit in the meantime and uh, basically just looking at that last window of opportunity to train in that last week before reawakening. This year has been absolutely amazing in the world of Davis Storm. You've had many Match of the Year candidates and obviously it all culminated in that title victory against Bobby Marshall at Road to Glory. What do you, how do you feel about how this year has gone and finally getting that gold around your waist after coming so close so many times? It, it was an amazing feeling and, and not one that I entirely expected. Um, obviously going into the night non-title match against uh, Bobby Marshall and uh, after losing the opportunity to, to be a part of the, the main event of Reawakening, uh, losing the Queen's Park Rumble to Richter, um, I thought my chance of main eventing Reawakening this year were gone. Luckily for me, Jack Burbank, uh, very godfather, looking over my shoulder. He gave me the opportunity and you know it was up to me to go out there and um, basically justify his faith in me. I think wrestling and, and indeed life, you, you've just got to cash in on the opportunities that you're given. Um, you can, you can only take the opportunities as they come to you, but I, uh, you've really got to make the most of it. And fortunately for me, I was able to do that at Road to Glory. Well, you're really going to have to make the most of it. The next show, Reawakening. Obviously, I don't need to explain to you how it is the biggest show on the explosive pro wrestling calendar. And, of course, you're inside this big 15-foot high steel cage up against two of the biggest competitors in explosive pro wrestling, Bobby Marshall, the man you beat for the title, and the man Mountain Richter. What are your thoughts going into that match, and how do you think you're going to do defending your title? Um, my thoughts are I'm in for an awfully long night at Reawakening. Uh, Reawakening, of course, is, is a celebration of, of pro wrestling and Perth pro wrestling. If I want to be doing the celebrating at the end of the night, I think I've basically got to prepare for a war. Um, these are the two biggest and most physically dominant athletes in EPW today. Um, I'm not as big as these guys, I'm not as strong as these guys. Um, the one thing I've got though is uh, my will to win and it'll be as strong as ever at Reawakening. Um, so no matter what I've got to go through, no, no matter what lengths I have to go to, um, I want to keep that EPW title around my waist. Okay, I wish you the best of luck in that matchup. Now, if you can just uh, take a look at the rest of the card of Reawakening, what are your thoughts about Robbie Hart making his debut in Explosive Pro Wrestling on the biggest show of the year? Um, I think it's great, not not just for for Robbie, but of course for EPW Perth and uh, the EPW fans. Um, Robbie Hart is an exciting young wrestler. Um, I had the privilege of seeing him on the very first EPW Adelaide show. Um, the, the best way I can describe him is uh, he, he's like a young developing Shane Haste. And uh, we all know the great things that Shane Haste has gone on to do in EPW Perth. So uh, I think the EPW fans are in for a treat and I uh, wish Robbie nothing but the best. Look forward to it. Now, uh, Brad West coming back from uh, what was a, a forced retirement to have a shot at the tag team title. This is huge. What are your thoughts about that? Personally, I'm glad to see him back in an EPW ring. Um, Chase Griffin and Dan Moore are both uh, two exciting young guys coming up through the ranks. Um, they, uh, they came into EPW Tag Team Gold a lot sooner than anybody thought, and uh, this is their toughest challenge to date by far. Um, Sebastian Sander, I know firsthand, is a, a brute of a wrestler, mm -hmm. and uh, he's, he's definitely one to watch out for in the future, but uh, with the, with the mind of Brad West behind him, 
Um, and Brad has one of the best wrestling minds that I've encountered in Australian wrestling. Um, there could be no stopping these two at reawakening. Um, if I was Dan and Chase, I'd be doing everything I can to study these two and prepare as, as best they can. No doubt it'll be a fantastic matchup. Now, the big question that absolutely everyone has been asking is who is going to be the opponent for Barry Schmidt? Barry Schmidt, Barry Schmidt. Um, look, I, I think Barry Schmidt's fantastic, but there's one thing you don't do in EPW, Dean Olsen, uh, from my years here in EPW, there's one thing you, you do not do, and that's throw forth an open challenge. Nothing good can ever come from an open challenge, Barry Schmidt. Um, a lot of names being bandied around by the fans um, and, and by the wrestlers as well. Um, I suppose for myself, I'm, I'm throwing up the bat signal, Dean Olsen. Uh, there's a, there's a superhero who used to live around here and there's no better time to come home than reawakening. Uh, I'd love to see that guy at reawakening against Barry Schmidt. I think we all would. David Storm, thank you very much for joining us here on epwperth.com. We wish you the best of luck in your 15 foot high steel cage matchup, defending your title for the first time at reawakening 7. There we go, Dean Olsen speaking to the explosive pro wrestling champion, David Storm, about the upcoming show and Dan Storm telling us why Reawakening is the biggest show of the Perth wrestling calendar. And this year is going to be even bigger than before as David Storm steps inside of a 15 foot high steel cage to defend that EPW championship against not one, but two opponents. And Jack Burbank from the EPW board joins us right now on the countdown to tell us about a new stipulation in that matchup. We all know the fans love a huge big steel cage match and at Reawakening 7 we're going to make it bigger and better than ever for the first time in explosive pro wrestling history in the steel cage there will be no pinfalls, no submissions, the only way to walk out with that EPW championship around your waist is to escape the confines of the steel cage. It's going to be a giant match and with that rule there it's going to be pretty much impossible to win. You've got to think with two opponents every time you try and climb over the top of that big steel cage someone's going to be there to pull you back into the match. It's going to be a huge one. You can't afford to miss it. Also in action, a match that you had a bit of a hand in creating. I'm talking about Devlin Reeves taking on Tyler Jacobs. And you added the great stipulation that if Devlin Reeves wins the match, he gets time alone in the ring with Brett Corbett. Oh, look, Luke, as much as I can't wait for the potentially Devlin Reeves to get his hands around the neck of Brett Corbett. The board of directors have met this week. They've decided that if Brett Corbett is going to put so much on the line, Devlin Reeves has got to come to the party with a little bit of an allowance of his own, and that is, should Devlin Reeves lose the match against Tyler Jacobs, he will be fired from Explosive Pro Wrestling. Wow, that's a, a big new match stipulation added there. Devlin Reeves has his career on the line. If you are a fan of Devlin Reeves, you want to get along to reawakening, you want to cheer him on. You want to make sure he wins this matchup. The potential risk for him being fired is a big one there, and that's a bit of a shock to us all here, but some other big stuff happening at the show. If that wasn't big enough for you, we also have <sighs> Big Vin's rap concert. What do you know about this? Uh, look, I, I know about as much as you, and uh, I'm intrigued as much as you. Don't know much about it. I, I, I wait with bated breath to see what Big Vin comes up with. It's going to be a number one hit for sure. I think I left the S off the front of hit, though. It doesn't matter. The point is, Big Vin is doing a rap concert. It's for real. It's going to be happening at Reawakening. That's why this show's so huge. Massive. It's unpredictable. Stuff happens. Also, as always, the end of year EPW Awards. Hey, you guys, the fans, you voted for these end of year awards. I can't wait to see who walks away at the end of the night with the trophies. It's going to be a huge, huge night. It is absolutely going to be the biggest show of 2008. Tickets are on sale right now from Ticketech.com.au. You can get all the latest updates from EPWPerth.com. But I tell you what, you cannot afford to miss this show. Isn't that right? That's exactly right. November 8th, Denver Rec Center. I'll see each and every one of you there. And we'll catch you next week for the final edition of the Countdown to Reawakening 7.